Hey guys, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. My name is Matthew Sturkey with Stone Mill Log and Timber Homes. Thanks for joining us. Happy Halloween. Wanted to talk to you today about some tips for timeline and for planning for your build timeline and uh, not intending to spook you or scare you on Halloween, uh, but more so to inform you and educate you on how to properly plan for your timeline for building your log or timber frame home. And one of the things that I tell a lot of my prospective clients, in fact, all of them, when we're trying to plan out a timeline is to figure out when you wanna be in your home first and then we tend to back into that based on all the things that need to get done. So for example, if I'm a prospective client and I wanna be in my home in spring of 2025, and let's say that the average build time is eight to 12 months. So that means I need to start my project sometime around spring of 2024 in order to, to hit that mark. And if it takes, uh, 30 days to get financing in place and 30 days to get a good turnkey estimate and, you know, three to six months to do design and engineering work. And in order to be ready for a build start date of spring of 2024, I need to start that project in the fall of 2023 to be in the home sometime around spring of 2025. So again, not to scare you or spook you on Halloween, um, but more to educate you. So we will uh, help you through that timeline process and educate you on what a realistic expectation, expectation is based on all the things that need to get done. So if you're already through the design process, you've already gotten your turnkey estimates in place, you've already gotten an engineered set of plans done, then great. Um, basically, at this point, you're ready to, you know, start doing financing and you're ready to uh, start getting permitting in place so that you can start, you know, looking to break ground in the spring of 2024. So if you're wanting to be in your home past that point, then this just gives you some helpful tips on planning ahead and how to create a timeline for your project based on all the things that need to get accomplished. And there's a there's a lot of things in there and I didn't encapsulate all of them. So we're certainly happy to help you. Feel free to call your sales consultant if you have questions about your timeline because every timeline is gonna be specific to your individual project. It's not a one size fits all. So hopefully that's helpful to you, doesn't scare you. Hope you all have a safe and happy Halloween tonight. Uh, and uh, uh, please call us anytime you have questions or if we can help. Look forward to you joining us next week for more Tip Tuesday. Until then, take care. See you later. Mm -hmm.